the movie opens with a nostalgic look into the past, featuring a video from childhood where the protagonist, Sissy, and her close friend, Emma, make a heartfelt promise to maintain their friendship for a lifetime. Despite this earnest pledge, the two drift apart as time passes. Years later, we are reintroduced to Sissy, who has now adopted the name Cecilia. She has transformed herself into a successful Instagram influencer with lots of followers. Her focus is on promoting mental health awareness, a cause close to her heart. Cecilia finds a particular joy in reading the comments on her posts, basking in the praise and validation from her online audience. This digital admiration contrasts sharply with her real-life persona, where she is just an ordinary individual, far removed from the polished image she presents online. One ordinary day while dealing with the mundane aspects of life, Cecilia encounters Emma unexpectedly at a pharmacy. Despite the initial hesitation, the two rekindle their acquaintance. Emma, brimming with happiness, shares the news of her engagement to her fiancé, Fran, and extends an invitation to Cecilia to attend her engagement party that very evening. During their conversation, Emma continues to refer to her as Sissy, a nickname from their past. Cecilia gently corrects her, expressing her preference for her new name, Cecilia. Emma accepts this with understanding and asks for Cecilia's social media handle to send her the details of the party. As the night unfolds, Cecilia finds herself at Emma's engagement party. The event is lively, with Emma enjoying the celebrations to the fullest, although a bit too much. She becomes intoxicated and, in a moment of nostalgia, pulls Cecilia onto the stage for a duet. However, the performance is cut short when Emma becomes sick, leading to an awkward and uncomfortable situation for Cecilia. After a heartwarming yet slightly awkward engagement party, Cecilia, our protagonist, finds herself immersed in unexpected reunions and memories. Fran, the fiancé of Cecilia's childhood friend Emma, introduces herself to Cecilia before rejoining the ongoing festivities. Meanwhile, Cecilia and Emma share a moment on the dance floor, reminiscing about their childhood pact made during Emma's 13th birthday. They had vowed to end up together in a nursing home in their old age. Amidst the revelry, a somewhat intoxicated Emma invites Cecilia to her upcoming hen's party. Cecilia, feeling like an outsider and reluctant to intrude on a gathering filled with strangers, initially declines. However, Emma, persistent and impulsive in her tipsy state, sends Cecilia the address of the party venue. The evening progresses with Cecilia joining in the dance with Fran and her friends, Tracy and Jamie. But as the night draws to a close and Cecilia heads home in a taxi, she makes a startling discovery on Instagram. Emma has maintained a friendship with Alex who, in their childhood, was a bully to Cecilia. This revelation prompts Cecilia to make a spontaneous decision to visit their old elementary school. Under the cover of night, Cecilia scales the school fence and unearths a time capsule they had buried long ago. Back at home, she delves into the contents of the capsule, finding a video camera with footage of her and Emma singing while wearing pink wigs. Inspired by this memory, Cecilia decides to dye her hair pink. As the hair dye sets, Cecilia watches another video from their past, a poignant reminder of their childhood promise. That night, she is tormented by a nightmare where her younger self, covered in blood, confronts her, denying the label of Sissy. The following day, Cecilia, still reeling from the events and her unsettling dream, hesitantly decides to attend the hen's party. Upon arrival, Fran assigns her to drive the group's vehicle. The atmosphere is light and jovial, with singing and laughter filling the car. However, the mood shifts when Fran mentions that Alex, Cecilia's childhood tormentor, will be at the party. Cecilia is struck with fear and apprehension at the prospect of facing Alex. The drive takes a dramatic turn when Cecilia, lost in her thoughts, accidentally hits a kangaroo crossing the road. In a moment of distress and confusion, Cecilia envisions the injured kangaroo as Alex. Fran, in a pragmatic decision, takes the keys to put the kangaroo out of its misery. The group watches in shock as Fran deliberately runs over the kangaroo's head, a brutal act that leaves a bloody scene on the road. Upon reaching the secluded venue in the woods, the friends enter the house, eager to continue the celebration. Cecilia, however, remains hesitant and troubled. 
She secretly observes the group from behind a wall, feeling an acute sense of alienation and exclusion as she watches them dance and enjoy themselves. The atmosphere quickly changes from joy to discomfort when Alex notices Cecilia. In a heated moment, Alex confronts Emma outside, expressing anger over Cecilia's presence. It's revealed that Cecilia had once stabbed Alex in the face during their childhood, leaving a visible scar. Emma, realizing her mistake in inviting Cecilia while intoxicated, apologizes to Alex. She hadn't expected Cecilia to attend, but now must deal with the consequences. Despite the tension, the party is set to continue, forcing Alex to grapple with Cecilia's unexpected inclusion. The unfolding events take a dramatic turn as Cecilia, feeling increasingly isolated, tries to navigate her way through a tense and uncomfortable reunion. Unaware of Cecilia's involvement in the hen's party, Alex decides to sleep on the couch, as all the rooms in the venue are already occupied. The evening progresses with the group engaging in various activities, watching a TV show, enjoying a meal prepared by Alex, and Cecilia momentarily stepping away to compose herself in the bathroom, battling her feelings of exclusion. Cecilia returns to the group with a gesture meant to bridge the gap. She presents Emma with the time capsule they had buried as children. The group eagerly explores the contents of the box, and Cecilia connects the video camera to the TV, showcasing a playful video of a young Emma. Although Emma is touched by the thoughtful gift, Alex disrupts the moment by abruptly turning off the TV and announcing that dinner is ready. At the dinner table, Emma and Alex share a sentimental moment, displaying matching heart necklaces, a cherished gift from their past. However, as the evening unfolds, conversations drift, leaving Cecilia feeling sidelined. She consoles herself with the thought of her online followers who appreciate her, unlike the present company. The dinner conversation takes a turn when Emma introduces Cecilia as a famous influencer and mental health advocate. This sparks Tracy's curiosity about Cecilia's earnings, a question Emma quickly deflects. However, Alex interjects, challenging Cecilia's obligation to disclose her income as a public figure. Jamie supports Alex's view, emphasizing the responsibility Cecilia holds towards her followers. Cecilia attempts to defend her stance, explaining that she has always clarified her non-professional status to her followers. Emma shifts the conversation to Fran's academic pursuits in psychology, raising a toast to both Fran and Cecilia for their contributions to society. This moment, however, is soured by Alex's bitter remark about Cecilia's past actions, leading to Cecilia excusing herself from the table. In the bathroom, she seeks comfort in the positive comments on her Instagram, while Emma joins her, offering words of comfort and urging her to move past the old wounds. The next morning, Cecilia is haunted by a vivid nightmare featuring Alex and a disturbing interaction with the scar on her cheek. She wakes to find the group has ventured into the woods, as indicated in a letter left by Emma. Following the map, Cecilia locates the group by the creek but chooses to remain hidden, overhearing their conversation. Alex shares with the group the incident from their past, causing an uproar, except from Emma, who defends Cecilia. The narrative then flashes back to the incident ten years ago, revealing the deep-seated reasons behind the tension. After Cecilia and Emma buried the time capsule, Alex's gift of a friendship necklace to Emma and her exclusion from Emma's birthday party deeply hurt Cecilia. In a moment of intense emotional turmoil, provoked by Alex's taunts, Cecilia lashes out with a garden spade, resulting in Alex's injury. Back in the present, as the group moves to the picnic site, Alex confronts Cecilia behind a tree. Despite Cecilia's apology and plea for reconciliation, Alex refuses and instead films her, demanding a confession. When Cecilia remains silent, Alex takes it upon herself to narrate the story. In a desperate attempt to protect her public image, Cecilia violently attacks Alex with a crystal decor, leading to Alex's death. Panicked and overwhelmed by her actions, Cecilia buries Alex in the woods. She recovers from her emotional breakdown upon finding Alex's necklace, which she wears. We then see Cecilia resuming her life on Instagram. Soon after, tension escalates rapidly in the woods, 
Jamie, having ventured into the woods, inadvertently discovers Alex's grave while relieving himself. Cecilia, also present in the woods, quickly diverts Jamie's attention away from the grave, but Jamie soon realizes the truth about Alex's fate. Knowing Cecilia is responsible, he attempts to flee, but Cecilia corners him near a cliff's edge. She tries to justify her actions as self-defense and fears that no one will believe her side of the story. As Tracy's voice echoes in the distance, Jamie is about to call out for help when Cecilia pushes him off the cliff, leading to his gruesome death. Back at the house, Tracy, oblivious to the unfolding horrors, is eager to return home to catch a TV show, leaving Jamie behind. Meanwhile, Fran remains at the picnic area, and Emma frantically searches the woods and creek for Alex as night falls. To manipulate the situation further, Cecilia deliberately injures herself before reuniting with Tracy at the house, claiming that Alex attacked her. Tracy believes Cecilia and prepares a bath to help her relax. However, the conversation takes a dark turn when Tracy inadvertently defends Alex's past actions, triggering Cecilia's aggression. In a fit of rage, Cecilia assaults Tracy, resulting in a horrific accident that leaves Tracy dead in the bathtub. Cecilia then attempts to flee the scene, but her escape plan is interrupted when Fran spots her. Fran joins Cecilia in the car, seeking information about Emma's whereabouts. Fueled by resentment and jealousy towards Fran for having everything she ever wanted, including Emma, Cecilia deliberately crashes the car, causing Fran to be ejected through the windshield. Unmoved by Fran's critical condition, Cecilia runs over her, ending her life brutally. Meanwhile, Alex miraculously regains consciousness but is severely incapacitated. Unable to speak clearly, she tries to attract attention but inadvertently frightens Emma away. Alex manages to find Jamie's phone and calls for help, but her impaired speech leads to a misunderstanding with the emergency services. As the phone battery dies, a helpless Alex is forced to return to the house. Back at the house, Cecilia engages in a disturbing act of self-harm by smashing her phone against her face. She then creates a live video, falsely claiming that Alex is responsible for the deaths of their friends and is coming after her next. When Emma finally arrives, Cecilia feigns unconsciousness. Emma, while searching for a towel to clean Cecilia's wounds, shockingly discovers Tracy's body. Cecilia then urges Emma to escape with her, but Emma, noticing Alex's necklace around Cecilia's neck, realizes the truth about Cecilia's deception. In a struggle, Emma slips and loses consciousness. When she wakes up, she finds herself with pink-dyed hair, bound to a chair, as Cecilia plans to recreate their old videos. Using her necklace, Emma manages to free herself and confronts Cecilia. The confrontation escalates into a violent struggle, with Cecilia stabbing Emma with scissors to escape. The consequence of Cecilia's horrific actions reaches a breaking point. After a series of violent incidents, Emma realizes she can no longer maintain a friendship with someone who has committed so many murders. In a symbolic gesture of finality and severing ties, Emma throws the time capsule, a relic of their past friendship, into the fireplace, watching it burn to ashes. As the capsule disintegrates, symbolizing the end of their bond, Emma takes the necessary step of contacting the police to report the crimes. Amidst this tension-filled atmosphere, Cecilia, driven by desperation and rage, grabs a broken vase and attempts to attack Emma. However, Emma skillfully dodges each swing. The confrontation escalates into a physical struggle, with Cecilia initially gaining the upper hand, but Emma quickly turns the tables, overpowering Cecilia and causing her to bleed. In a shocking turn of events, Alex, presumed dead earlier, suddenly reappears and mistakenly attacks Emma with a cane, mistaking her for Cecilia due to her newly dyed pink hair. In a brutal assault, Alex disfigures Emma's face beyond recognition. Cecilia seizes this moment to take a photo of Alex attacking Emma, intending to use it as evidence to support her false claims made in a recent live video where she accused Alex of murder. However, the situation takes another dramatic turn when Alex realizes her grave mistake in attacking Emma. Overcome with a mix of horror and rage, she turns her wrath towards Cecilia. Just as the situation is about to escalate further, the police arrive and the constable intervenes, stopping Alex and ensuring Cecilia's safety. 
In the aftermath, as the police secure the area and sirens wail outside, a calculating Cecilia reaches for Emma's necklace. She pairs it with her own to form a heart, a chilling and ironic gesture considering the tragic events that have just unfolded. The film concludes with Cecilia returning to her life as an influencer, but with a drastic and dark twist. She emerges from the chaos even more famous, falsely proclaimed as the sole survivor of the so-called Alex Massacre. With her follower count skyrocketing to millions, Cecilia exploits the situation, fabricating a story that garners her sympathy and support from her followers. This devious manipulation allows her to escape accountability for her crimes and gain wealth and fame. The movie ends on this note, showcasing the disturbing reality of how easily truth can be distorted and how the pursuit of fame can corrupt. Did this story spook you out? Let us know in the comments below. For more horror movie recaps, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Fear awaits you.